Yo, Rhino, behavior analyst and creator, all things behavior analysis is what you'll find here on The Daily BA. We nerd out on psychology here. Today, just a quick overview of John B. Watson's methodological behaviorism. So the definition first. A, B, C, D, H, J, K, L, M, N, O. Ah, the pages were stuck together. All right, methodological, 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 methodological behaviorism. A philosophic position that views behavioral events that cannot be publicly observed as outside the realm of science. All right, breaking that down a bit more, kind of like my book here. An approach to explain behavior. In behavior analysis, behavior is everything that we do. All living, breathing, and functioning organisms, human or non-human animals, are included. It's often contrasted with B.F. Skinner's uh, Radical Behaviorism, which I covered in another video, uh, if you wanna go check it out, uh, in which he takes into account the totality of human experience. Note here that methodological behaviorism looks at drawing a line between publicly observable things and things that we can only us ourselves observe, such as emotions, thoughts, and feelings. Methodological behaviorism was developed at a time where psychologists like Watson began to attempt to root psychology more within natural science evolutionary science, which means variables are looked at which affect the organism in some sort of way. That is the ontogeny of somebody, that is the skills and experiences you have as a result of your lifetime that you've developed, and the skills and abilities you have as a result of being a member of a species. That is the certain reflexes that you may have, such as your eyes watering when something gets in your eye. You have that because you're a member of a species in which that's been useful and helpful. Now, one common misconception that many make, including behavior analysts, is that methodological behaviorism didn't believe in thoughts, feelings, or other private events that we experience. And this just isn't true. Watch, Watson and methodological behaviorists simply state that those things aren't within the realm of science and that this is where Skinner took a hard turn saying that they could they could be analyzed and looked at from a behavior analytic, natural science, evolutionary perspective um, with his version, radical behaviorism. Quickly, a couple common questions. Is this approach still happening or viable? Yes, I personally think it's missing out on analyzing some of the most important human things that are experienced day to day. So it leaves out a lot of things that we could look at through a scientific lens, such as thinking, feeling, emoting, etc. But to each their own. Uh, does this approach make room for things like the mind, soul, etc.? No, but kinda. Methodological behaviorism formed in a time period in which evolutionary science, natural science, was developing. And so hypothetical constructs like those are not a part of the explanation. But within our definition, it states, behavioral events that cannot be publicly observed as outside the realm of science. So I think the intent was to not include them, but allow for things like the mind, soul, etc., to be left as these unexplained things that may exist despite like ample evidence in over 2,000 years of no evidence of them whatsoever. Is this the predominant approach of BCBA's board certified behavior analysts? Well, again, unclear what the actual stats are, but some operate from this stance within our writings, our empirical journals, but there's also a few other forms of behaviorism that are out there that you can explore as well. Many training programs for behavior analysis in like graduate programs teach from the standpoint of radical behaviorism, that all the human experience can be explored, but many fall short on creating practitioners that have the skills to account for, measure, and understand private events they have or their clients may be experiencing. So while a lot of schools preach from this radical behavioral perspective, they seem to create methodological practitioners in my experience. Um, that's just my hot take and loose anecdotal experience watching this field for 10 years and uh, teaching master's level courses for a couple years now. So if you wanna learn more, there's plenty of links down below in the link section and thanks for watching. This video real quick is brought to you by people like you, patrons, people that help support my efforts financially. For three years now, I've actually spent time and lost money, like actually lost money creating these videos because I think they're important, the field is important and there are important people doing important things that need to be heard by, well, people like you. So if you enjoyed that, please consider supporting. Uh, like, share, subscribe, it actually makes a difference and I will see you in the next one. That's your Daily BA.